So email automation is usually a series of emails that you can set up in your email software provider and you can add a trigger to the automation and then this trigger gets fulfilled then it triggers out the automation and the series of emails get sent out to your recipient. Email automation has different terms in the industry such as email series, email flow or email sequence but ultimately they all mean the same. So why we love these email automations? One, because they, these are automated as the, as the name suggests and that makes it really convenient. If you go to our website, you will find a case study where we set up a few automations in two weeks and they work for one year and they increase the revenue of our client by 20%. And that's a huge lift for an e-commerce store just by five email automations. So that's the real power of automations, but there are other things as well. So usually they have a higher revenue per email recipient than campaigns because they have a trigger and they are sent to the right people at the right time when there is an email campaign it doesn't happen because you have to find the people by segmentation and then you send it out to them on your list and sometimes it's a hit or miss but with automation if, if somebody does something they get the email immediately or within a few minutes and you react to their action with the email therefore the email automation is highly personalized more personalized than an email campaign and also it's automated so that's the other huge benefit of email automation why we love also automations because you can be really precise with the expiry of your offer so for example if somebody abandons their car and then you send out a offer to them after five minutes let's say five minutes after they left the car and then you can tell people you have 48 hours to redeem your cart and get your product for the same price and then after 24 hours you can send them a reminder email and then let's say after 45 hours you can send out an urgency email that only three hours left so with automation it's possible with campaigns it would be much harder you should you know play with the schedule but here you just set this up once and it happens automatically every single time all right and after these now let's go to my computer and i will show you the most common email automations and how to set them up in an esp like Clavio. all right so now i'm in an email marketing software tool Clavio, this is probably the best for e-commerce and I will show you the main marketing automations, how they call them is uh, flows. So you can go to here, they have a library of different automations that you can set up. So you can use those templates if you are not confident enough to set up yours. Yeah, go to create flow and you can create them from scratch. But now we will browse these, uh, these templates. So actually these are pretty good templates. I mean, of course our, you know, team, we do much better, but it's not, not bad as a start. All right, so now let's set up an abandoned cart flow. I will go here. This also includes SMS. So this is a standard abandoned cart uh, automation. And what this really is about, so when somebody goes to the website and they put an item into their carts and they go to the checkout and they leave at the checkout, then you can target them because you already have their email if they provide that. Uh, during the checkout process and this is the trigger so the checkout started and everyone gets into the flow when they start the checkout process so after the trigger there are also filters and if they uh, meet these uh, filters then they uh, get removed from this flow so somebody placed order zero times since starting this flow um, and somebody has not been in the flow in this flow in the last seven days so if they meet these uh, parameters as well they stay in this flow and that's how you can uh, filter out people if uh, they place an order obviously you want to remove them and send other types of emails because the goal of this flow is to get them to buy also many people they don't know but these filters they get reviewed by Clavio automatically after each email so you don't have to do the tedious task and add, add these filters after each email because it happens automatically and uh, that's a regular question 
action we, we get. So this is the abandoned card flow. This is the trigger and these are the flow filters you can use. And now let's check other automations that I highly recommend for you to set up. So this is for those people who already, they are on your product page and they view the product. Clavio can actually see that, but they put nothing into their carts and they leave. So they are less engaged than those people who get into the abandoned cart flow, but these people, they are still highly engaged. They are active on a product page, so you want to target them with emails. The trigger is somebody viewed the product. This uh, is sent by Shopify to you and by WooCommerce. Most e-commerce platforms, they can do this, but not all of them. So they send the data to your email platform and then you can filter them out. So you want to make sure they start to check out zero times since starting this flow. They placed order zero times and they haven't been in this flow for a while. So obviously this is a very basic automation with one email only and you can use the visual flow builder of Klaviyo. Nowadays, most email platforms, they have this visual builder. And I remember when it came out a few years ago, it was a big thing. Nowadays, it's pretty standard, but still many platforms, they don't have this. I would highly recommend you should use a tool that has this visual builder because it's just so much better to understand the structure of your automations. Let's say six hours later, uh, we want to send another email reminder and I just add this here and you can edit this email, but I won't do it now. And another time delay and let's say uh, 25 hours later, we add another email. So that's how it goes and you can uh, just really set up your whole automation. So now let's exit this thing and I want to show you other automations you can use. So you also want to email your uh, new customers. So we can use this one, for example. So we send an email to new customers and returning customers as well. So every time that they place an order and I usually set this up as two different automations, but here it's uh, under one automation. So the trigger is somebody placed an order is given by Shopify. We wait one day. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. I would remove this. Um, we can wait maybe five minutes because the tools need some time to send the data to Klaviyo and to any email platform. Shopify needs some time, let's say five minutes. And after we split this, if they purchase once or multiple times and they get different emails. So that's the automation here, but just make sure you email your uh, new customers as well and your returning customers as well. And you can give them different offers. So that's another thing. And the last one I want to show you today is a Wimback flow or a sunset flow, whatever we call it. So you also want to send an automation to your lapsed customers, those uh, people who haven't purchased for a while in your store and probably they are unengaged and you want to gain them back. I really like how this is set up. You can be creative about this, but this is the usual setup. So somebody places an order. That's how they get into it. So everyone here already placed an order. And since the start of this flow, they placed order there zero times and then simply we add a time delay which is here more than two months and after we send them a reminder that hey we are here we want you to buy and so on and you can send multiple emails after that so this is the usual setup i think the big thing here is the time delay for the first email so it really depends on you who you consider as a uh, lapse customer for some brands it will be somebody after 75 days for others it will be someone after one year it really depends on your customer buying cycle so you know if you sell supplements or baby products, pet products, most likely those people, they will buy it once a month, every second week, every two months, but quite regularly. While if you sell furniture or luxury jewelry, people won't buy that every single month, right? So for you, a lapse customers will be someone after one year, maybe even two years. So if I sell furniture, I would really change it to, I don't know, maybe even 500 days. And only then I would target them as a lapse customer. 
dollars so really think about it that's strategic thing that's the fun part but really think about it and set up your win back flow based on that so these are the main automations and i hope i could give you a good start with these and make sure you check them out because they get a crazy revenue for your business and see you on the other side of the email platform hey buddai nation i hope you like this video and if you did make sure that you go down you subscribe to this channel also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my newest videos here at buddai media our mission is to help at least 1000 e-commerce brands grow and scale using email and retention marketing because unfortunately too many businesses they focus on acquisition only and ads only which honestly sucks especially nowadays when it's just so tricky to acquire new customers. And also before I leave, I will give you a free e-commerce email marketing audit doc that you can simply just uh, download through the link in the description. Check it out, that's what we use with our clients. And if you want to check out my uh, other videos, then make sure you click the thumbnail that you will see in a few seconds and stay tuned.